Welcome guys to the first ever Surgical Gaming RFVR tutorial. Now this game is a 400 square kilometre VR RPG that you can also play with friends. I'm going to be bringing you loads of content, just tutorials, where hidden things are, how to do things, all kinds of stuff. So let's get started. When you spawn, you can choose to be a warrior, mage or a rogue. So everyone's got their own pluses and minuses. Uh, Warrior is 20 base strength, 10 jump height, and minus 100 move speed. Mage is plus 20 basic insight, plus 20 cast spell, which is spells, how fast you can fire them, and minus 10 jump height. Rogue has 10 extra base strength, 10 extra base insight, and plus 100 movement speed. So, what I'm going to do then is I've got a level 55 ish mage. Um, started in a warrior, so let's do rogue. And then you choose male or female. You just touch it, you don't have to press any buttons. So I'm going to go for male and continue. And it will tell you, okay, day zero. So, what you need to do next is just go to the options over here. Tap on that. Gives you all the HUD options seated and standing mode, like teleport mode, head orientated, control orientated movement, uh, positional ring as well to help you getting like motion sickness and things like that. Grip to drop, which I have because I'm using the index, and snap turn on and off. Now I prefer no snap turn. You can turn the music on and off as well. There you go. Graphic settings. So you've got DLSS, texture, view distance, anti-aliasing, shadow quality, resolution settings. I'm on a 2070 Super and I've just maxed everything out and it runs brilliant. Next is servers, so you can host the game, you can select P PvP, you can also host a LAN party, uh, you can find servers, and what you do is click on the server and then hold join, just once, that's all you've got to do, it might take a second to load, and then over here, if you climb up here, touch that box, it will erase all of your gameplay for that specific save slot. Now, climbing, you can hold the trigger and climb literally pretty much anything in the game, which is awesome. And you've got a rope here that you can practice on as well, so grip and you climb. First tutorial is going to be based on just this great hall, which is where you start and you can learn how to do everything. So I thought I'd walk you guys through it. What you need to do is grip to grab. It's all written here as well, so you know you can uh, read that. And if you do get stuck, let me know in the comments. So I'm holding grip. That's 15 base damage. If I hold the trigger down, because this is an enchanted sword, it goes up to 100. Look at that. And then it does use mana. So if you see that, it's using 10 mana every time I charge it. And then we have the shield. Now, this shield will do 8 damage, so if you like parry or just hit an enemy with it, it will do 8 damage. That is it for that room. Let's move on to... So, this room is all about spells. Let's start with the save book. As you see, there's one save left in this. If I hit the right trigger, it will save my game. So you can grab another one, that's got two. So you have a pouch on your left side when you first start. Grip, trigger, drop it in, let go, grip. Trigger is just to open it up. Now if I put that away, open it up again, there you go. That's how you save. There's also a bed in every base town, so you just tap the save button, I can show you that with regards to spells. So, grip, trigger, okay. Okay, so it's on that hand now. Grip, trigger, it's on both hands. Now, over here, as you see, if you pull the trigger, it'll bring up a menu. So, this here is all of your spells. So, as I've just picked this up, pull the trigger to how you equip it then you go boom like that so now that spell will be in that slot so you can 
mixed between spells. Everything does unlock as you progress. With the inventory, once you hit level 10, you can have double the sacks, so that'll give you 32 spaces. Okay. I will cover crystals and how they work, so like enchanting weapons, upgrading armor, all kinds of stuff. There's so much stuff you can do, make potions. That'll be another tutorial. I don't want to like, jump too far ahead. Let's just get started with the basics. And if you do get stuck with anything, I've got videos to show you how to do it all. So it's a video tutorial within a video tutorial. There you go. Okay. Now we'll move on to the guns. So, grip, trigger. There you go. Now all you do to reload is you tap that, you get the box, grip, drop it in. And that is how you use the guns. Finally, we have the armor. Now, if you have a look at me, over here, and here, and here, and on my shoulders and my head, there's a slot for each bit of armor. So this is really basic. So if I grab this, uh, it's got attributes on there. If your armor has like resistance to certain elements and things like that, it will show on there, and you can upgrade it, like I said. So if I grab this and just... Like that. Don't do anything, just grip and then bring it to your shoulders like that. And then I've got that one, and then I've got that one. Finally, the helmet. Now, if you want to remove stuff, you just hover your hand over it and it'll go green. Pull the trigger, there you go. And there is a haptic as well, so it will actually vibrate when you're in the right spot. So, uh, again, another video on how to do everything up here. So let's quickly go through the storage. Now you have 16 slots here. You have body storage here. You can fit so much stuff on here. And you have storage on your back as well. So you can grab staffs and shields and all kinds of stuff just by uh, using just back storage as well. Pretty simple. And there is one last bit of storage just down this way. I will show you. So this is quite new. So you press to open got another 16 slots there press to close all the controls are up there so if you do get stuck then what you want to do is move on into the main kind of this is going to lead you to the base and I'm going to do a tutorial to show you how to do everything just the basics and then yeah I'll see you in the next one if you do want to see more of your content please subscribe I'm gonna have loads of more tutorials I do live stream this game regularly if you want to know anything else, just let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.